Dear students, today we will learn to draw the sacral plexus. Before drawing the sacral plexus, we will also draw a box like this and divide the box into these two portions. Okay, like the brachial plexus, here there is no uh, divisions like this, the roots, trans, uh, divisions, cord, trans, cords, branches. There is no arrangement like this. Uh, some branches arise from the divisions and some branches arise from the rami. So let's draw the plexus. It is the ventral rami of the number 4. Here is the ventral rami of the number 5. Ventral rami of the lump, sacral 1. Sacral 2 sacral 3 and sacral 4 spinal lung. Okay. Now we will draw the divisions. From the number 4 there are two divisions. One is ventral, another is dorsal division or posterior division and we will shade the posterior division like this. From number 5 here also two divisions like this ventral and posterior or dorsal division. From sacral 1 also two divisions like this and we will shade the posterior division or dorsal division. From sacral 2 there are also two divisions like this and we will shade the posterior division or dorsal division. But from sacral 3 there is only one division from sacral 3 and that is the ventral division. Okay. Now we, we will join the dorsal divisions like this. We will bring down the dorsal divisions here, it will join with the dorsal division of the number 5 and we will give shade, then we will join the dorsal division of the sacral 1 and give shade and we will join the dorsal division of the sacral 2 and give shade and this will form our common peroneal part of the sciatic nerve, common peroneal part of the sciatic nerve. Again we will join the ventral divisions also here, the ventral division of the number 4 and 5 unite, then ventral division of the number 5, sacral 1, unite, then ventral division of the sacral 1 and sacral 2 will unite and then ventral division of the sacral 3 will unite and it will form the tibial part of the sciatic nerve, it is the tibial part of the sciatic nerve. And here is our total sciatic nerve. Okay. Now we will draw the other branches. Superior gluteal nerve that will arise from the posterior division of the number 4, number 5 and sacral 1. Spinal nerve. So it is the superior gluteal nerve. Inferior gluteal nerve will arise from the dorsal division of the ventral nerve at the number 5, sacral 1 and sacral 2 spinal nerve and it is the inferior gluteal nerve. Okay. Two branches will arise from the upper portion of the tibial part of the sciatic nerve, trunk of the tibial part of the sciatic nerve, here from here nerve 2 obturator internus and superior gemellus or gemellus superior and another portion another nerve will arise from here and it will innervate the quadratus femoris and gemellus inferior nerve. There are another three nerves here. Uh, one is pudendal nerve and we know that the root value of the pudendal nerve is the sacral 2, sacral 3 and sacral 4 spinal nerve. So, is the 
from sacral 2, this nerve will come down like this and communicate with sacral 3 and sacral 4 and form the wooden nerve. Here is our wooden nerve. Another two nerves, one is posterior femoral cutaneous nerve that will arise from the posterior division of the sacral 1 spinal nerve and come down and it will communicate with the sacral 2 and then sacral 3. Okay, it is a posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. And the last one is the perforating cutaneous nerve which will arise from the sacral 2 spinal nerve come down like this and make a communication with the sacral 3 okay and it is our perforating cutaneous nerve here is our perforating cutaneous nerve and here is our posterior humeral cutaneous nerve you can draw the small branches like superior gluteal inferior gluteal posterior humeral cutaneous perforating nerves and other muscular branches with a single line okay Okay, then level and write down the figure legend. It's all about the sacral plexus. Thank you.